are starting with our unit that is basically dependent on graphs and trees. Trees are basically dependent on graphs. That's why first we will study what is graph so that it will be easy to understand what is tree. Basically both are nothing but representation which is which consists of vertices and edges. But what is the difference that we will come to know when we will first understand what is graph and types of graph, operations of graph and then we will start with the uh, topic that is trees. So starting with graph, this word we are uh, listening from our childhood. You have, you have drawn multiple graphs. So what is graph? Graph is nothing but collection of vertices and edges. That's why it is said that graph G is a pair of V and E where V is set of vertices and E is set of edges. As both are representing the set, that's why we have denoted them by capital letters. Our unit one set, set is always represented by capital letter. That's why as we are denoting G as a set, but of V and E, that's why they are denoted by capital, which is nothing but set of vertices and set of edges. Vertex is always denoted by dot or circle, whereas edges are denoted by line to line segments. So, for example, here we are having a particular graph where four vertices are there, which are denoted by the circles, and they are connected by the line segments. Even into E3 E. So that is nothing but graph. Now there are various types of graph. We will see first the basic types. So the first that you all should know is the directed graph. Now as its name implies, directed means there should be direction in that graph. So directed graph is the graph in which each edge is having a particular direction. Then that is called as directed graph. This direction can be either inward direction or outward direction. But there should be any direction. And all edges should have direction. Then it is called as the directed graph. So we can see over here. V1, V2, V3 are the three vertices which are denoted by the edges. And all the edges are having a particular direction. As V1 and V2. Both are having direction, directed edge that is incident on V2. V3, V2, it is incident on V2. V1, V3, it is incident on V2. So that is directed graph. And undirected graph. Now if directed graph is having the edges that are having directions, then definitely undirected graph is the graph which contains the, uh, edges and vertices but the edges are not having any particular direction. Like V1, V2, V3, V4, all of them are connected with edges. Suppose we are denoting them by E1, E2, E3, E4, and all are not having any particular direction, then they are called as undirected graph. So this is all about graph, directed graph, and undirected graph. In our next section, we will see the basic properties that are related to graph like what should be the degree, how the edges can be parallel and all that we will cover in our next section.